Welcome makers! Today we are making a beautiful lei using Songs of India or Tea Leaf. Give this video a like and subscribe for more lei tutorials. I'm going to show you how to make this lei using two different materials, Songs of India leaves and Tea Leaf. You really can make this lei using any type of leaf that has a similar texture and is long enough. This could also be made using the same method with ribbon or artificial leaves. If you live in a tropical area, you may be able to forage Songs of India and Tea Leaf. If you live near a flower market like the Los Angeles Flower Market, you can order through them or shop their coolers. If you have a business, you can order these through your local floral wholesaler. Tea Leaf can be ordered online. Songs of India are a little harder to find. You can also check with your local floral shop and see if they sell items by the bunch and would allow you to pre-order through them. In tropical areas, Songs of India are popular in landscaping. In the mainland, it is also a popular house plant. This is how the Songs of India come if you order it through a wholesaler. I used about five stems to make this lay. When I order through my wholesaler, there can be a lot of variation based on factors like seasonality, weather, and the growers they buy from. A lot of times the Songs of India I receive are a lot smaller stems and I would probably need 10. To prep my leaves, I'm pulling them off the stem. I'm going to cut my leaves to size. For this lay, I'm keeping my pieces about four inches long. There will be variation in your leaf size, so if your stems have smaller leaves, you may not need to cut it. I am using needle and dental floss to create my lay. I want my lay to be about 40 inches long, so I'm cutting my floss 44 inches. I am making my leaves into ribbon shapes by crossing the ends, then piercing them through the needle, making sure that it goes through both the bottom and the top leaf. As I string on each leaf, I am placing them around the needle in a star shape. You do need to be gentle while stringing on the Songs of India. We want to keep the loop shape that we are making, and if you are not gentle, the leaf will crack to be flat instead of round at the point. I did have a few leaves that split as I was piercing them with the needle. Once they are strung on together, the leaves hold up pretty well. Once you have your desired length, tie your two ends of floss together and trim the ends. I am also going to show the process using tea leaf. First, I am deboning the tea leaf by following the grain and cutting off both sides of the tea leaf. 
I'm going to do four inch pieces for this lay as well. I'm cutting my tea leaf into four inch sections. Then I'm gonna cut strips that are one inch wide. You will need about six to eight large tea leaves to make this lay. Following the same process, I am stringing on my leaves in a star shape. I had a few stems of orchids left over from another lay, so I strung those on to add some color. Here are some other variations. You can mix this lay with other materials like kukui nuts. I also cut my pieces shorter and wider because it will use less tea leaf. The tea leaf pieces were three inches long and one and a half inches wide. For the Songs of India lay in the middle, I still did four inch long pieces, but I cut the Songs of India leaves in half long ways to give the finished lay a slightly different look. Here are all of the finished lays. This is definitely one of my favorite lays and is versatile for any occasion. Thanks for watching.